A big hello to you all from wherever you're tuning in from. I'm Molly and I'm back today to share some ideas to help you take better instant prints. I also want to talk you through how to reduce your waste when you're taking photos on your Instax camera and using your Instax film. Now, these tips apply to any film camera, so if you don't have an Instax camera in particular, not to worry, you can just use the general information in this video to help you. So jumping straight in, firstly, simply paying attention, taking your time, checking your exposure settings. These could all make the difference between a perfect shot and wasting a shot. Um, it's also really important to ensure if you're taking photos on an Instax analog camera, for example, the Instax Mini 11, this one here, that when you're pointing your camera, you're not pointing it directly at a very bright light source because this could let too much light into the camera and overexpose your film. Uh, instead, just slightly twisting your position where your camera's facing and that could simply avoid this really, really easy. Um, it's also worth noting if you have a digital Instax camera, this is less likely to happen because the camera doesn't allow this to happen um, and it won't overexpose on the output. Next, if you're taking a macro or a close-up shot, again, I have my Instax Mini 11 here to help me demonstrate this. In fact, I'll just turn it on, pull that close-up lens out. There we are. Um, you would point your camera lens directly at what you'd like in the center of your photo. Um, and don't look through the viewfinder while you do this, and do this at arm's length. And then retract your camera back towards your body, about 30 centimeters or so, and take your photo. And the reason for doing this is obviously like a lot of cameras, the viewfinder and the lens don't match up, they're in slightly different places. So if you position your photo through the viewfinder, um, the object that you want in the centre may not end up being in the centre. And speaking of positioning, also consider where you're taking your photo from. Now it's really common to take a photo at head height because that is where we see the world every day, that's what we're used to, but I really like switching up, getting lots of different types of angles um, and just seeing what comes out the camera. One of my favourite uh, angles is from a really, really low and then pointing the camera up, getting some graphic ceiling lines in maybe or a bright blue sky, um, just different things that we don't see every day. Or another option could be um, if you're taking a photo of a baby sibling or a little niece or nephew or a dog to get down really low and capture a moment that they would see from their eyes. Another tip is to use your photo regardless of its flaws. Now we live in a world where it's very, very easy to create a good photo nowadays, but keeping those imperfections are just as important and beautiful. So for example, if you're in the moment with friends, you're having a good time, you've taken a photo and your eyes are shut, it shouldn't matter too much. You shouldn't feel like you have to recreate that same moment to get a similar shot. You can see here there's a photo of my puppy Alfie and he's got his eyes shut, but he still looks as cute as ever. And lastly, a reminder that photography film is extremely sensitive to the light, so you don't want to be exposing any of this film before your image is taken. Um, I would recommend storing your film inside the packaging until you need to use it in a cool, dark room. If you do accidentally open up the back of your camera, or even take the film cartridge out while there's still film inside your camera, um, I wouldn't assume that it's all ruined, that all the film is ruined. Um, yes, depending on how long it's been outside the camera, you may lose a couple of shots, but it's likely that you will be able to rescue some of that film, so it's definitely worth giving it a go. Um, you may even find that you get a cool couple of light leaks coming into a few of the photos, which can give you a really bespoke cool effect, and to be honest, just adds to the beauty of film photography. Thanks so much for watching and I hope this helps you take better instant prints. Remember to share and tag Instax in the images you've been taking on social media.